MOAs or military operations areas is airspace of a defined vertical and lateral limits and hours of operations established for the purpose of separating certain military operations and training activities from IFR traffic only. Whenever an MOA is being used, non-participating IFR traffic may be cleared through an MOA if IFR separation can be provided by ATC. Otherwise, ATC will reroute or restrict non-participating IFR traffic from entering or traveling through the MOA. Examples of activities conducted in MOAs include air combat tactics, air intercepts, aerobatics, formation flying, low altitude tactics. Military pilots flying in active MOA are exempt from the provisions of 14 CFR section 91.303 C and D, which prohibits aerobatic flight within class D and class E surface areas and within federal airways. Additionally, the Department of Defense has issued authorization to operate aircraft at indicated airspeeds in excess of 250 knots below 10,000 feet MSL within active MOAs. So basically it's just super fast, potentially super fast airplanes going awesomely fast. Pilots operating under VFR should exercise extreme caution while flying within an MOA when military activity is being conducted. The activity status, active or inactive, of MOAs may change frequently. Therefore, pilots should contact flight service stations within 100 miles of the area to obtain accurate real-time information concerning the MOA's hours of operation. Prior to entering an active MOA, pilots should contact the controlling agency for traffic advisories. MOAs are designated on charts by this hashed magenta line and the name of the MOA contained within the MOA. For additional information about who owns the MOA or who the controlling agency is, Remember, check over on the edge of the chart and we'll give you the MOA name, the altitude, the times of use, the controlling agency or contact facility, and any pertinent frequencies that you need to use in order to find out if it's active or not active. Again, MOAs are designated as separation from IFR traffic only and VFR traffic can go through an MOA. However, if an MOA is active, it would be a really good idea for the VFR pilot to check with a controlling agency prior to entering any MOA.